Hello everyone, this is Neronium. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. Last time we did a lot of side stuff and in this part we're actually going to be tackling the third dungeon of the game. So, we now know the new wave Bossa Nova. So if we play this to Lulu, even though our eggs are still uh, back at the Gerudo Fortress... How you feeling, Lulu? What do you make of this? And no time to explain. By the way, Macau's dead. See ya. So our next destination is the Great Bay Temple. Come up in, I like you. And welcome to the Great Bay Temple, what many people consider to be the worst temple in the entirety of the series. I actually like this temple. So what is the Great Bay Temple? Well, it is a whole lot of stuff. Okay, so we're gonna need that, but also we are going to need Zegoron Mask. No, we don't need that right now, so Goron Mask. It's a random fairy, which I might actually need fairies in this one, believe it or not. This temple can get pretty wild if you're not careful. Get perfect arrows. Now, for our first dead indeed, light the torches. Lights. 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 Reel the chest, because guess what we get to deal with again? That's right, fairies. And you're gonna want to get this these stray fairies. Trust me on this. Speaking of which, 
This is when you're gonna need the bow and arrow a lot, so it's gonna be a little bit hard. I'm gonna have to maneuver around. Yeah, that's why it's turning. Lift me! Whoop. Oh, Skeltalus. Skeltalus. That's right. What I need to do is I need to go down there. Because we need to pull the switches. Now, if I remember, there should be another fairy around here. Oh, that's, that's right. You can do a uh, um, weird flippy dip trick. Cool flippy dippy trick. Forgot about that. Oh man. I wanted to ride it while basically T, t posing. Now, this dungeon is going to take a while. Like, to say the least. I would never recommend doing this dungeon on the last day unless you absolutely know what you're doing because this while i like the great bay i am not gonna lie this temple is confusing if you don't know what you're doing and that's kind of why i like it actually i like confusing temples like this plus also it's better than the annoying temple in twilight princess Okay, so this thing is turning. We are gonna go up over here and break. This for another stray fairy. Come on. Zora mask. We gotta go into the water. No, I no, I need to go into the water. I also gotta. No, 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 no. I need to go that way. There we go. Boop. a fairy in here somewhere. I don't know why I've memorized this dungeon so much. Because while I like this dungeon, I will say this. The boss here, I hate. With a passion of a thousand suns. Dude. I remember correctly. Yeah, there we go. Boop. Chesty. It should be the map or the compass. Map. Okay. Now notice the sparkly sparkly on the water. That's uh, there for a reason. I actually hate it. That 
that's right, you can't pick up stuff with that. There's the fairy. Okay. There's my great fairy's mask. Come to me. There we go. That's our fifth one. Into the water. Grab your hands. Grab your hands. I don't like grabby hands. They touchy, touchy. Ah, these things. Whoa. The creepy part is they get eyes once you end up uh, doing this. You get eyes. I don't like that. Maybe another fairy in here somewhere. Lily pad of doom and sadness. Boop. Look at those creepy eyes. It's creepy. There's the chest. It's weird. It's been years since I've done this dungeon, but I still remember the stray fairies pretty well. I think it's because in the past it was always such a pain for me to get them. Ah, yes. Uh, there's the boss. Now, I want to deal with the bum too. No, I need arrows. Boop. I'm too. Oh God. Now this should be the compass. Oh man, my stomach hurts. Yep, compass. There's the grabby hand. Oh. Here's just cabin ya. This should be a small key. Boop. Magic. Magic. Arrow. There's another enemy in here. Where are they? Are they over there? Oh no, it's a grabbing hand. I'm like, why am I hearing boss music? Okay, so back out here. Nope, gotta go down. Curse you. All oh, right, 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 right. If I remember correctly, there is a fairy in the middle. Wee! 
Isn't this fun? There it is. There it is. There we go. Ah, the clams. The clams of doom and sadness. There are bamchu in here. I do not appreciate the bamchu. So here's how you get out. Octorox. Ow. Now I gotta ignore the Octorox and watch out for the bum chew. I think the Zora shield technically can deal with them. Here we go, boom! Okay, now you're following me. There we go. Hit. So, in here. And we got Choo Choo's with arrows. And magic. Can only mean one thing. Bullshit be coming. And bombs. So stock up in this room. And let's go and take on the mini boss of the dungeon. Looking at you. You gotta watch out for this thing. It can actually be kind of a pain. See what we gotta do. We gotta wait for. Oh, of course. Right. You always open your eye. Right in front of me. There we go. Gilded Sword makes this fight so much more mad. I don't like how. I'm looking at you. Stay 
Stay away. Stay away. That should be where I need to stand. <laughs> Every time I stand on a chest, I feel powerful. And now for the item of the dungeon. Well, we got the fire arrows last time. We saw sparkly darklies in this one, which means obviously we're getting the ice arrow. Now you can freeze enemies and objects, aim wisely and turn shimmering waters into icicle platforms. This is a change from the original Majora's Mask and something that I hate that Majora's Mask 3D did. What do I mean by that? In Majora's Mask 3D, any surface of water, any enemy, did not matter. They would freeze. Did not matter at all. Majora's Mask 3D, only specific areas may freeze. It's dumb. I hate it. I know why they did it. It's to prevent certain sequence breaks. I still hate it with a passion. Also, I don't know if Takuri is weak to ice, but he might be, so it might have been a thing I could have done. But if you're wondering what you can do, let me show you with the ice. Uh, ice. Arrows? So blue Octoroks are basically your prime target for being able to freeze stuff. Like so. Turn them into platforms. Flippy dips. Now if I remember correctly, there should be a fairy in here. All right, so we have done that. Now, where's the fairy? Okay, I need... Great fairy's mess. Okay, nothing in this room. So now that we have effectively turned on the other way, Now, we need to go back to the main room. Well, actually, I can go that way real quick. Might as well. Then I don't have to do some stuff later. Ride the current. So these glimmering areas right here are where we can use our ice arrows to freeze for platforms, which I, again, original Majora's Mask did not do this. I wish that this one didn't do it either, but a hey, bakers can't be choosers. They had to prevent something. So it's like that. And obviously the ice platforms don't last forever. There we go. In here, we got an ice chew and a bomb chew. Behold, Frozen Bomb Chew. By Frozen Bomb Chew, I mean Boom Boom Bomb Chew. Alright, let's turn this on. There we go. Now, Goron Mask. Hello, Chew. That's right, Chews can't be beaten up with Goron Link. He just bounces off him. Night of first day. Just looking around, making sure. 
You never know if they switched fairies around, which I don't think they did. Okay, boop. Boop. Grab your hands. Might as well get the boss key while we're at it. Oh, come on. You came back. And take off that. Boop. Didn't need to freeze both of them. Ended up doing it anyway. Now for fire. Yep, we're going to be using fire and ice a lot. That's Goron Link. Now, come into this room. And look who it is. It's Mr. Ah, God, not again. Okay, now, I need to switch to ice arrows. Boop. Oh, hey, that does actually hurt you. Interesting. Uh, fun fact, if this thing gets in gets you into anything, he will end up uh, hurting you pretty badly. He does kung fu. Alright! So kill him. Now, I was tempted to actually do this, but we're gonna do this on this cycle anyway, which is why I'm back at the first day anyway. So notice how it's a normal frog. <laughs> Ow, I could not hold that sneeze. And it still hurt. Anyway, uh, notice how it's a normal frog. Well, that frog is important for something. And we'll get into what that frog is important for once we end up getting uh, done with this dungeon and then beating up Goat again. So, boss key. Figured I might as well do this now. Get that out of the way and all that. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out the prequel to Majora's Mask, check out the top link for a playthrough of Ocarina of Time 3D. And if you want to see one of my favorite 2D Zelda games, check out the bottom link for a playthrough of The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds.